not be the same. Two people laughed. Two people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu takes on his multi-armed form and says, Hey guys, Robert and Ingrid here, and we watched the American 1998 Godzilla movie, or Zilla, because he's not worthy of God. Do you agree with that sentiment? I mean, yeah. It, this was not a Godzilla movie at all. Maybe except the opening bit. The opening bit felt very much like a Godzilla movie, didn't it? With the, um, um, you know, all the mysterious opening and all that stuff, and mm -hmm. the stuff at the docks. Felt like a Godzilla movie. Mm -hmm. Everything else felt like a generic giant monster movie. Yeah. The only reason they made a Godzilla was it was a nuclear re you know nuclear over a nuclear bomb created oversized lizard. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now it's fast. I'll give this Godzilla that. It's fast. And heck, mm -hmm. I would have accepted all of it if it kept the two hallmarks: his indestructibility and his fire breath. We didn't get either here. Mm-hmm. So, the movie. Basically, yeah, giant lizard, um, and a, li a normal lizard is mutated, or iguana is mutated into a giant monster, and it feels the need to breed now, so it comes to New York, runs around, and really, actually, it's the military that does more damage than the monster itself. Yeah, which is weird. Especially for Emmerich, who's usually very, you know, pro-military, pro-everything else, why would he make it a joke? Mm. This is the guy who did Independence Day, for Christ's sake. And look how well-respectable he was there, and then here... Whoopsie. You just shot down the Chrysler building! Mm. What do you else, What do you gotta say with it? Hmm... Like, what about the human plot plot of it? I say it's the dumbest, even compared to a lot of, not all of, but a lot of the low bar um, Japanese version. Wouldn't you agree? I just kind of zoned out during a lot of it, honestly. Yeah, I bet. Uh, it's. God. And then, I mean, and then you would stretch it out to the lengths with that pointless raptor sequence. Yeah, it's just like... I mean, yeah, okay, you see all those eggs, you're like, OH SHIT! Hmm. But you didn't need to have them hatch and repeat the raptor stuff. Especially, it's like, where's Mama? Where's Mama? And then Mama shows up after everything's blown up, and then... Now, of course, that gives good motivation for the ending and everything, but it's like... Again, this just felt so generic. It, that's, wouldn't you just say that's what this is, generic monster movie? Yeah, generic monster movie that just so happens to have the name Godzilla slapped onto it. Yep. Oh, just one sec. Just, oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. But, um, yeah, and it's just... Uh, you know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, what about, what do you think about, like, Matthew Broderick and all that? Huh? Oh. Lost ya! 
Whoops, I don't know what happened there. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, folks. Sorry about that. <laughs> but what did you think about Matthew Broderick? Um, I don't think there's really a ton to say there, really. That's a lot of fish. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Yeah, you remember when he was a... not a ton that was whole me really memorable. Even Gene Reno, Leon the Professional, that hitman, the cold-hearted hitman, it, like, and also the um, assistant to the bad guy in the first Mission Impossible movie, it's completely wasted here. So I wonder if he was actually wasted while shooting this movie, because, good God almighty, the guy's a badass. They make him a joke. They make him a French stereotype. Hmm. And then the end. Okay, first of all, the fact there was no fire press. I get it. They're going for realism here. And the only thing I get to the fire press is that his breath somehow gets ignited and it's a big fireball. Makes no sense. But, um... It's like, did you forget the series you're directing for? For Yeah, exactly. And, um, um, um... And then, of course, like I said, he's taken down by military missiles. What? Right, that like, was the big every letter. other time that the military's had a significant hand in bringing down Godzilla, it's never been with traditional weaponry. They've always had to use some kind of the clever super X with, engineering to do it. Yeah, the Super X with those missiles, because all the other missiles didn't do good. It was that specific missile that was designed for nuclear radiation. Mm -hmm. Or, hey, we have to lure it into some kind of a trap first. Which technically they did here, but it's a axe, it's a whoopsie trap. Mm -hmm. It's like, run, run, run! Oh, he's tangled up! <laughs> Not even, even King Kong was better than this! Yeah! At taking down the monster. And I feel, why do you have a feeling, why do I have a feeling they were going for a King Kong vibe here? Hmm. You gotta get that feeling of it you'd be more like a, oh, this poor creature. Mm. No. I don't buy that. Oh, no. by the way, by the way, there was a bunch of Simpson cameos. Hank Azaria is the camera guy. You had um, Dan Kress and I was I want this big story. And then the secretary, that's um, Nancy Carr, I think. I think your big story just went by your window. Hmm. There yeah. was one of the few lines from that movie that I actually remembered. Yeah, exactly. And how the hell did the camera guy survive being stepped on? Hmm. But... Overall, we give it like a 5. 5.5. 5. Mm-hmm. Is that Because correct? there certainly have been worse disasters, but this one's probably biggest flaw is just being completely forgettable. It took the god out of Godzilla. Mm-hmm. But, but, we will be at a, la a later point, but it will be in this, in this particular video, watching the first three episodes of the cartoon series, which most people said was a light years better, and mm -hmm. the three-part Monster Wars, which is basically a throwback homage to Destroy All Monsters and a little bit of Mechagodzilla. Yeah, I hope that'll do a bit better of a job to salvage this. Oh, trust me, the monster's much tougher and it has the fire breath already. It's better than Mama! Aha, uh -huh, I see. And to give people a bit of a tease, you, uh, you, I've already watched like long ago, so I'll rewatch it later, but you just watched the first part of the Godzilla anime. Want to give people a tease on what you thought? What the hell was that movie? <laughs> exactly. Like, exactly. I haven't brought that one out in a while. Mm-hmm. But this one, it's more like a, not like a, what the hell did I just watch? Like, we jokingly did for Space Godzilla. It was more of a, this is so pretentious, Ed. It's just like, this is so pretentious and edgy that I'm not sure they remembered what series they were directing for for a different reason. I know, and the animation was great. No, this is just a tease we're giving. We're not going to take mm -hmm. any further. Yeah, I'll it's just, just say, like, I... The animation was so good that I wanted to like it, but it's just the writing was just complete crap. The acting was fine. I would say that. The English acting was fine. Oh, <laughs> I'll wait a moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like the acting was fine. The actual animation was fine. The but twist what was were good. they the, doing the, with that script? The twist was good at the end. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, what, what were they doing with that script? It's just like, I miss the campy Showa aliens right, watching this right now. Can we at least have one of those back? Unfortunately, I never thought I'd say that. Unfortunately, it's going to get worse. Much oh, worse. Lord almighty. It's the next one, it's going to be probably, it's going to derail. There's a reason why I wanted to do our Mechagodzilla retrospective beforehand, because it's going to derail our high record, our perfect record for it. <sighs> and then the Ghidorah stuff is going to be one of the most boring ass monster fights, if you'll call it a fight. Oh dear. Yep. But that's for a later date. So. We're not going to do a full sign off yet because right after, and we're going to more just cut off because the next video part of this video will be us afterwards once we see those five episodes. So we'll just see and see you guys on that side. Hey guys, we're back. This is just a little addendum to our Godzilla review uh, and um, the '98 movie as we talk a bit about the anime series. Now we didn't have time to watch all of the episodes. So oh, I just selected. Right, we definitely didn't. Yeah, so I selected just some of the highlights, which were basically the two-part pilot and the three-part Monster Wars. And I saw these long ago, rewatched them recently, and Ingrid just saw them for the first time. So Ingrid, after seeing '98, well, first remind people where do you stand on '98 as a Godzilla movie? '98 was just kind of generic. It was just kind of okay. I'm not even sure it really felt like a Godzilla movie. Just it felt like Zilla. a movie without with Godzilla's name slapped onto it. It felt like Zilla. Mm -hmm. But what did you think about the show from what you saw those five episodes? It definitely felt a lot more to form with classical Godzilla. Like Godzilla actually felt like a threat. He had some things that were familiar like the sense of having a junior and then sort of having the conflict of oh do i go with my uh, my sort of adoptive human stepdad or do i go with you know, with my actual biological mom or whatever have you right you right know? well at least one the alien must... invasion thing it's just like yeah this feels a lot more like godzilla than the last movie i just watched though i do have to say it does still kind of have a generic -y cartoon feeling it does. It's better than the movie it's based on, though. And I got this Cyberzilla, for you know, it's where they resurrect the original Godzilla from the movie. That's the closest they could ever get to doing one of the other, you know, um, Toho move monsters. They were told you can only do Zilla. We're not letting you touch any of the other Godzilla, you know, monsters. So I and it, it's, you know, um, um, so yeah, with a bunch of the, um, you know. Um, other the other generic creatures, they had no choice. Yeah, I suppose that makes a lot of sense. But yeah, but doing an alien invasion, which was right out of you know destroy all monsters and a lot of fight. In a way, this is a precursor to the final wars. Yeah, it kind of is. Uh, but with a much better final boss. Oh yeah. But um. But yeah, just having me that Junior beats down on, you know, da on Mommy or Daddy, whichever, since, you know, technically it doesn't matter what sex it was. Um, and I got, and the, you know, the main human characters were fine. It just felt so good to see Godzilla being a bit of a hero fighting other monsters. Mm hmm. Which is like, this is what Zilla should have been. Mm hmm. So. I mean, this one's going to be a short. Like I said, it's just an addendum for the video. But overall, though, I do think that this show really helped redeem Zilla. And this is why they say, I'll be like to say, it put the god back in Godzilla. Yeah. For this version. And this is, like, there was rumors that people say that this is what made Toho much more happy about the property. I haven't heard if that's been confirmed or not yet. It sounds more like fan speculation, but... But, but yeah, no, what can you do? But overall, though, I think the show was good. Got cut way too soon due to executive meddling, unfortunately. <sighs> it's the same story every time, isn't it? Yep, same, same, same songs. Um, what, what's how the phrase goes? Same, same tune, same as the oh, same verse, same as the same verse, same as the first. A little bit louder, a little bit worse. Yep, exactly. But yeah, that's what we have to say on God's on the Godzilla cartoon. And, again, it improved so much from the movie. So, at least we're ending this video on a high note. Mm-hmm. So, yep, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one as we start entering into the Millennium Era.
Catch you guys then.